150 pounds of armor. Metal jaw top, other 2,000 pound war horses. They're gonna line up at each end of this field. Take lance in hand, turn their horses about, and charge straight for one another. All the attempt to beat the living snot out of each other for your sick and twisted pleasure. What do you say? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you come to the right place. Right here at the Agri Dome, we have the Knights of Valor and full contact jousting. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shane Adams, and I am the captain of the Knights of Valor, but some of you may have seen me on TV on a show on history, a hit show on history, called Full Metal Jousting. Do we have any fans of Full Metal Jousting in the audience here today? Thank you for the four of you for watching the show. I appreciate it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I told history, though, nothing can compare to watching jousting without seeing it live. It didn't matter that we spent millions of dollars trying to capture the sport of jousting and put it on television. Nothing can compare to watching jousting without seeing it in front of your eyes. Well, right here, as part of the p and &E, in the Agrodome, you're about to see full contact jousting live! What do you say? <laughs> now, of course, to have jousting, I first need to have two high school dropouts. I mean, two brave men. Get dressed up in that 150 pounds of armor. Then, of course, take these beautiful horses that though plowed the fields of North America were never really bred to pull a plow. They were bred to carry a knight into battle. And when these knights and their horses come into this arena, how are you going to cheer for them? Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's Friday and it's early, but I have to tell you that without a doubt, that is the most weak and mewling cheer I've ever heard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard loud cheers at a mini golf tournament. <laughs> this is real full contact jousting, and when people ask me, how do the Knights get their courage to actually compete in this extreme sport? This is no dinner show. This is real. How do they get their energy? They get that energy from you and your voices. I can never summon forth the Knights of the Realms with such a weak and muley cry as that. Ladies and gentlemen, underneath that tunnel are two Knights who doth risk life, live, and future progeny. That's right, kids, if you don't know why that's funny, you can ask your parents when you go home. Parents, if you don't know why that's funny, just keep on enjoying your beer. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, when these knights ride in, how are you going to cheer for them? <laughs> that's better. That's what I'm talking about. Now, as this is said and as it's known already, this is an international competition. The knights that I have competing are competing for the most amount of wins possible, and if they win the most amount of shows here, they're going to win the PE Championship. So we have two jousters coming out. So I'm going to divide the crowd in such a way that each knight feels equally cheered for, equally blessed. From that sound booth, all the way to my right, to those people up there in the nosebleed section. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I tried to get you a better seat. Now, for everybody on this side of the arena, you will be cheering for a Canadian here today. <laughs> Canadian, you're going to be cheering for one of the best Canadian full contact jousters ever born. Ladies and gentlemen, he's won many Canadian national championships, many international championships, and he hails from the town of Kenilworth, Ontario, Canada. His name, Rob Cole. So when Rob Cole rides in, how are you going to cheer for Rob Cole? That's awesome. <laughs> now for everybody on that side of the arena! Today you cheer for one of our American counterparts. Well, I guess you could say he's Canadian because he's from Florida. Today you'll be cheering for a man who's been jousting, of course, well, just 
this year. He started training many years ago, but just this year, he's earned his spurs to come out here as a knight. He hails from Pensacola, Florida, and he goes by the name of Archer. So when Archer rides forth onto this field, when Archer, the American, takes lance against the Canadian, how are you going to cheer Archer on to victory? <laughs> now you people are booing. That's awesome. This is going to be a great joust. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? Shall I bring in the knights? Ladies and gentlemen, he is your champion here today, riding that beautiful Percheron by the name of Maximus. Raise your voices for your champion, the champion of Florida, Archer! Ladies and gentlemen, bring it out into this arena, the Iron 